folks check it out sunny weather shorts are on wellies are on i can't believe it it's like summer's here amazing and today favorite of the channel playground cleaning uh, we'll come to this bit in a bit this is a massive area um, that's already been half tackled by the uh, caretaker but we'll, as i say we'll come to that in a bit the first focus of today we have a special guest of lydia today everybody everyone hello. say hello to lydia hi everyone she's helping me out today kev's off sick so i needed a bit of a hand with this because there's a lot of areas to clean but this is the focus of today so far anyway if we get to the other bit we'll do that in this video as well but we're going to be tackling this this is super grimy guys look at this oh, it's a wet pore soft play surface so you guys know i love doing these but they are very difficult to clean they're uh, one of the hardest surfaces to clean properly to be honest with you um, and look at all that grime there underneath the slide it's slippy um, they said with the tennis court area thing the football area and this it's unplayable because of how slippy it gets so i'd like to say a big shout out to the joiners of the channel the people on the patreon as well i'll pop some names up on screen now um, and a few special people have donated privately as well for a PayPal thing and that directly funds this I'm doing this job completely for free guys because essentially it's already been paid for by the generous people that watch this channel and speaking of those generous people what's this no way is that the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 oh my days you already know what it is guys, it's Manscaped back again with a clutch sponsorship on the channel helping me out doing a lot of these free community cleans that I do. And of course today we're talking about the Performance Package 4.0 and their Lawnmower 4.0 with its patented skin safe technology. This is the perfect electric trimmer guys. As I said in the previous one I've got two, I use one for my face and one for my nuts. I can say with absolute confidence you will not get any nicks or cuts when using this thing unless you've been silly. It's completely waterproof, you can use it in the shower, it's got a light on it, you could shave your private parts in the dark if you wanted to. And don't forget when you order the Performance Package 4.0 you get the Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer. I do get a hairy nose I must admit so that one is a lifesaver for me. Nothing in my ears yet but I know that's coming with age. You get the Crop Preserver Anti-Chafing Ball Deodorant, you get the Crop Reviver Ball Spray Toner. I don't even need a script for this anymore guys because I love this stuff so much. You will also get two free gifts. You get the Shed Travel Bag which is nice and handy. You can put all of your Manscaped stuff into one little bag and carry it with you wherever you need to go. And you get the Manscaped Boxers which are anti-chafing boxers. Uh, these, these things alone would be 20 quid. So it's a massive saving and a massive bargain getting these things for free. And they're very comfortable, I must admit. And that about sums it up. It's neat, it's tidy. It's going to leave your nutsack neat and tidy or your lady parts neat and tidy. And if you order now with my code that's on screen, code PARTRIDGE, you get 20% off and free shipping. You cannot get a better deal than that anywhere else. 20% off and free shipping with code PARTRIDGE. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring the video. This really helps me being able to do cool videos like this completely for free for some clients and schools and places like that so yeah again thank you let's get on with the video as well please don't aim it a bit <laughs> just press the trigger whenever you're ready hey not bad You can do if you want, yeah. We're working down, what do you do? <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll stop. I'll do the edge, don't worry about that. But yeah, just carry on. Just side to side or up and down. I'd go side to side personally, so. Do you want me to take over? Yeah, go on then. Okay, should we go to a really dirty bit and see how that comes up before we uh, truly start cutting in the edges? Alright, it's pretty bad down here. Let's have a look at this. Oh, 
So a little tip of why this sort of area is so hard to clean. Um, luckily, there's not much moss on this one. Um, oh, well, I'll go you. Luckily, there's not much moss in this one. That would be a bit of an issue if there was, but because it's so porous, it just holds all of the water. So when you've got dirty water that you sort of blast down out, it just soaks straight back into it. That's still dirt coming out of it. So you've got to rinse, 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 rinse loads to get this stuff clean. All right, I'll set you up now and I'll time lapse me cutting in around the edges and then we'll uh, focus on the main part. Soaked already, she said. Look. Oh no. Look at shoes. I, what, I told, uh, did I tell you not to wear shoes? Yeah, didn't tell me. Oh, I didn't. Sorry. Right. <laughs> uh, I want to get a good shot of under there though. It's, it's super dirty. I won't put it. No, it's all right. I think I'll put it here. I can get it. That'll do. Okay then folks, successfully cut in all of the edges. So in case you're wondering why, why is it just doing that bit and then that bit and that bit? So we can use a different machine on the rest of it to clean it a bit easier. Um, otherwise we'd be here all day just doing this one section if we had to use the lamps. So uh, yeah, there's some slight stain on it. It is Saturday today, so I wouldn't be too worried about putting some chemicals down after. Um, I might put some, uh, oh, I've missed a bit under there. Let me get that bit first, one second. Right then, flat surface pit, eh? Well, you got to press the trigger down first, bit. Are we ready? Yeah. It's going to go off without this, isn't it? It's not, but it's fine. That's it, go. Yeah, go slow, remember, super slow. Look at right there. There you go, always keep it moving, don't let it sit on one spot for too long. But just sort of slow, nice, easy movement. Yeah, we'll start wherever you want. So if it's me, that I'll show you. Hold this. Mm -hmm. So I would do. Right, I'll start. To this edge. Start like here. In line with that post, yeah? Oh, like you said, like a car. So then, start right here. I don't want to be too far, man. Yeah.
It brings the dirt up. You can see it. There you go. So okay. basically, oh, if you leave good. it if you leave it too long, yeah. you get like these lines, like they're called tram lines, and it's basically where the dirt has just like sat in it. Um, yeah. So like this bit here, uh, it's, well, it's hard to see there. You've done quite well actually. Like that bit there, that yeah. will dry, and then that will end up being like a line. And then when you try and rinse everything off afterwards, it's like it just doesn't want to go. So okay. I'll try um, it yeah. I'll so try just. That bit. Yeah, do that bit. Just do like really small sections and just sort of work in, the, in like quadrants. So just, I'd do like, I'd probably sort this hose out for you. And then I'd start like here, right? Yeah. And I'd probably go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, in line with this thing and then I'd rinse. Yeah. And that's the way I tend to work with this stuff. So. powerful enough to just sort of do it like that but I'll just make it easier Ta-da! 
what you think folks that's coming pretty pretty nice hasn't it um it's a lot a lot of uh damage around here basically it's falling apart and it's uh, quite heavily stained um i mean you'll be able to see so the uh obviously the surface is blue but then if you look closely a lot of the, a lot of it is black as well um, and that's basically the colour that's been sort of wearing away over time all the kids playing on it obviously it stays a little bit more damp here as well hence the damage that's started to form um, but apart from that I mean that's big that is like completely worn away that is that's not a stain that will never come up blue um, it's actually the bare rubber underneath um, but then you come up the bit which gets the most sunlight and it's pretty much perfect to be honest with you so yeah there we are very good all right then, so Lid's off, gone off to the shop to get us some snacks. Um, I'm going to have to nip off and do a quick go-to job in a minute. Um, but this is so key. God, it's a big area. Oh my God. Put it into context, folks. Um, if I was to charge for this job, I mean, we're talking, yeah, at least a thousand pound at the very least. Uh, it's a very large area, including that other bit as well, which is small, but um, this is where the caretaker has done up to. Um, this is the same surface as what we've just cleaned as well. Um, this, this is not tarmac or anything like that. It's the same wet pool surface, uh, rubber basically. Um, this is where the caretaker has got up to. Um, he's done a pretty nice job, hasn't he, to be honest? A few lines. And I've, uh, I've definitely seen worse, so. But you can tell, I mean, this is what I mean. He's had the same issue that uh, most people have with the surface, me included on my first, many of them, uh, just where it dries out too quick and you just get left with loads and loads of lines. So if you don't rinse before it dries out, you basically have to clean it again. It's a nightmare. Um, so I reckon we're just going to pick up from where he's left off. I might blitz his bit over again and just try and even out some of these lines. Um, and then we'll start working our way down the pitch. Yeah, what, what a, what a job.
Oh my goodness, guys, that has taken so long. You don't understand. 15 litres of fuel, multiple passes, chemical treatment, and I'm still not super happy with it. Oh my gosh, this has been hell. Absolute hell. Poor Lydia for her first ever, first ever day with me. Um, I don't think she'll be coming back, guys. I don't think she'll want to after this job. Jeez. I mean, we're halfway done. I'm going to have to come back probably during the Easter holidays in a week or so to get this done, I think. Um, I, it was fine today being a Saturday and obviously no kids around or anything, but yeah, I'm not going to get that chance again. I mean, look, you can see the difference. It's incredible, really, isn't it? <laughs> when you look at it like that. Um, but all oh my days, seriously, that has taken so, so long. It was just rinsing and rinsing and rinsing and rinsing. It just never ended. I'm absolutely shattered. I was meant, this was meant to just be a bit of a chill out. I knew it was a big area. It was meant to be just a bit of a chill out job. Oh my days. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, the lines, it was just holding the dirt. There were so many lines left over. I need a bigger machine. I need a higher flow rate or something for jobs like this. Cause that is just not enough. It's not powerful enough at all. Pfft, there's another expense gonna be coming out guys, I think. Uh, but yeah, my method was, so for anyone watching, you may have seen all those horrible tram lines um, after that first pass, that was bad, really bad. I was like, oh no. The chemical treatment shifted and lightened a lot of it. Um, and then I was tempted to give up there, to be honest, because we've been here hours and hours. Um, and I had, other, I had other jobs to get to today as well, nightmare. But um, yeah, I was tempted to give up there. I was like, what? I don't think I can get it any cleaner than this unless I keep dumping chemical on it. But then it takes hours to rinse out the chemical because it's so absorbent, it just holds it all in there. Um, and I thought, you know what, no, I want to go the opposite way over it and try and cancel out the lines, and that has worked, and that, most of the lines are gone now. Um, I'm, I hope the, the guys at the, the guys and girls at the school will be happy. Um, I'm not perfectly happy, but I'm happier than I would have been if I had left it, how it looked at the start, uh, after, you know, on the time lapse when you saw those lines. If I had left it like that, I would have been really disappointed in myself today, but yeah, nice difference there. There was already it was already like a quarter done anyway by the caretaker so I'm sure, I'm sure they won't mind a nice neat line down the middle but for a few weeks um, and then i'll come back and i'll tackle this probably with a different method i think i'll i'll wet it all up first apply uh the treatment on it then clean it then see how it looks instead of cleaning it the treatment then having to re-clean it i think i might just try treatment first and see if that will help the issue with the lines and things like that I'm tempted just to hire in like a, a bigger machine for it as well, to be honest. I know it kind of defeats the purpose of a free job. I can spend loads of money to do it, but anything to make an easy day, really. Cool, right, we'll pack up now. The blue bit came up nice, that was easy. That only took about an hour, and this bit's just taken about six, so. How did you find it, Lid? Hard work. Hard work. It was tough, it was tough she it said. It was tough. But it was fun. Yeah, I yeah, liked yeah it. it was all right. It was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, all right, well, that's, that's all from us, folks. Again, thank you to the people on Patreon, the people on uh, the YouTube join thing, um, and thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring this video and allowing us to spend all day here sweating and crying and moaning. But now nah, it's been a lot of fun, so yeah, thanks guys, take care, see you in the next one.